A big move is on the table now that could bring Baltimore City closer to having total control over its police department. And if this happened, it would be for the first time in more than 150 years. Right now, the department is a state agency, but last year, voters voted in favor of changing that. WJC is live tonight. Kelsey Kushner is on your corner. And Kelsey, you had a chance to attend a public hearing a little bit earlier tonight. Uh, what the neighbors have to say about this? Good evening, Vic and Rick. Well, tonight there were a lot of people inside City Hall who were very supportive of both of those bills. Neighbors tell me that they want to see the people who live here, who work here, and who know Baltimore City, the ones controlling the police department. We have overwhelmingly proven that we can lead ourselves. Sergio Espana has been a Baltimore City resident for over two decades, and he says he wants to see control of the Baltimore Police Department moved from the hands of the state and put into the hands of local legislature. I generally think that the reason why we have seen so many issues with public safety is because of that lack of direct control. Right now, the Baltimore City Police Department is a state agency with various degrees of state oversight. Last year, a question on the November ballot proposed giving the city control over the department. Now, two bills are moving through city council to support the switchover for the first time in over 160 years. This is just another incremental step in the right direction. Inside City Hall Wednesday, the committee of the whole held a public hearing about the proposed bills that, if approved, would amend the city's charter and code, giving Baltimore City Council members and the mayor full authority of the BPD. It's something neighbors say they've been pushing for for years. It's much easier to initiate regular legislation for the Baltimore uh, PD if you're local. Committee members say the city is the only jurisdiction in Maryland without complete control over its police department, and it's creating a disconnect. There needs to be a change to the charter. Uh, by which we strike limited, limiting language uh, upon the city council's powers. Both city leaders and the community believe putting the department into local hands will also help ensure accountability within the department. You would have local government, which has to respond to local needs, be consistently accountable to follow through on their responsibilities. Now, there will be two additional public hearings next week where the public can give their input on both of those bills. That's going to be on December 4th and December 7th. Then that the committee will then make their final vote on December 12th. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kirshner for WJZ.